And reaction continues this morning after President Biden's announcement that the U.S. has killed the world's most wanted terrorist. Yeah, a weekend drone attack taking out the leader of Al-Qaeda more than two decades after he planned the 9-11 terror attacks. Jay Gray joins us live now from Capitol Hill with more on how it happened and what may have been at stake. Jay, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Dave. Good morning, Maureen. Look, we know that this mission spans several months of surveillance. The strike carried out over the weekend, and there are indications this morning it came as al-Qaeda may have been laying the groundwork for another attack targeting the U.S. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. The president confirming a U.S. drone strike that killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawari fulfilling a promise made two decades earlier from the smoking rubble of the 9-11 attacks. And the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Yeah! al Zawari was the primary architect of the deadliest terror attack on American soil. He was Osama bin Laden's personal doctor and chief advisor, taking control of al-Qaeda after bin Laden was killed by U.S. forces. And according to the former director of the CIA, he was actively targeting the U.S. at the time of his death. Zawahri was in the process of pushing out some additional videos calling for attacks against Americans. It suggests to me that he was looking to restart his terrorist activities. The mission to take out al Zawahri included weeks of surveillance and a precision hit with no civilian casualties, all carried out entirely from the air, almost a year after the president's controversial decision to pull U.S. forces out of Afghanistan. And I made a promise to the American people that we continue to conduct effective counterterrorism operations in Afghanistan and beyond. We've done just that. President Biden stressing those counterterrorism operations will continue to be a top priority of his administration. Yeah, and in a written statement, the Taliban-led government in Afghanistan, quote, strongly condemns the attack, calling it a violation of international principles. Maureen? Jay, have we heard any of the specifics of this mission? You know, the president didn't share a lot of detail. Intelligence sources are saying it was carried out by the CIA. And I can tell you, it was so precise that al Zawari was hit while he was on the balcony of his safe house, and no one inside, none of his family members were injured. So it, it was a very uh, precise attack on this man who's been wanted for more than two decades. Wow, that's incredible. All right, Jay Gray, live for us this morning. Thank you so much for that update.